everybody my age or like younger don't know a lot about the whole history of Red Hook, the whole importing, exporting, shipping, cargo. We thought it would be a great idea to put that on display. For this event, we are learning ourselves and also teaching about the history of the neighborhood, but we're using 3D printers to do it by creating a boat race that's modeled on the shipping history of the neighborhood. So uh, we thought it would be cool to recreate kind of what the Dutch people did back in the day. So we just made boats and we're gonna simulate by having little bricks getting put down at the pier and just keeping score. The Red Hook Regatta is a collaboration between Pioneer Works and the Red Hook Initiative, uh, and more specifically the Digital Stewards Program within the Red Hook Initiative. Yeah, yeah I was going to say make sure that the bottom piece is like inside there. Yeah. The Red Hook Initiative has a program called the Digital Stewards, and they basically just train for people to become professionals in the technical world. We learn everything about computers. We learn the insides of it and the outside. We're doing the software, we learn um, all the, the parts that go into the computer, we learn how to do videos. Basically everything um, with new technology. When I first came to this program, I had no idea what I was going to be doing. And then just I know he asked, would you, would you like to do an event about 3D printed boats? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. <laughs> it just became the best experience I've ever. <laughs> you having hands-on experience with 3D printing now is, I think it's great. You know, it opened up a whole new side of technology I didn't things that I, I knew or I could learn, you know, so you can build whatever you want, you can do whatever you want with 3D printing, so it's great. Oh, it's acting up. It's good, huh? I need to take that thing off, unfortunately. Oh my oh god, what just happened? Oh my, oh my god. Up until the last couple weeks, before we had seen a fully assembled working boat, you know, I think in all of our minds, there was still the question of, is this gonna work? We all started knowing the exact same amount about boats, which is zero, basically. So I think we've all learned so much about just, even just rudder design and propulsion and all that stuff. Everybody else's designs is kind of big. You know, everybody, they're like real out there. So I, I didn't know it was gonna be this small, but being that it's this small, it should take flight. But at the same time, it's either, you know, sink or float. I think it's gonna sink. So I'm gonna try my best and make it work. And we both in the same spot. We both about to put our motors inside. We know like there'll be some level of chaos. We don't know how much, but that's kind of what we're in it for. We're in it to try this thing that's never been done before and know we'll pretty much get it to happen. You know, I think like pretty much is for me is a success. Thanks for coming. Yeah. And we're going to check that first heat in a few minutes. Did somebody score? I can't see over there. The sun is in my eyes now, guys. I can't see. Now, now we have a situation with our first place where John's boat scored seven points, but is now not operational. Jesus' boat scored six points and is semi-operational. So what we're going to do after a long, hard decision, 
is we are going to share first place at this competition between Jesus and John because we cannot say that either of these guys did not win this race. It's freaking amazing. Like everybody came outside, everybody came came to see us do, do this little event, and it was just awesome. It was amazing. I didn't think everybody would show. I thought it was gonna be at least 30 people. And it came out to at least 100, right? It's pretty cool, pretty cool. I had an amazing time. Uh, we, we made a few mistakes. You know, everything that like kind of went wrong with today's event, we'll take it, go back to the lab, revamp it, and come back out next year for part two.